studio audience. Ask me anything they want. Who else has a question? Who else? I'm going to take my shoes off because they hurt. Hello. Ow. I'm going to get comfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. Okay. I have two children, so I'm always looking to get out of the house. So if you could pick anybody, living or dead, who would you have dinner with? Who would I have dinner with, living or dead? Mm -hmm. I would... But what do the children have to do with getting out of the house and having dinner with somebody? A date, man. Just get out. Oh, a date. So does it have to be a man? No, it could be anybody, living or dead, anybody. Um, I think it would be my great grandmother. Like, you know, she never even got to see me model once, you know, like, and she was like my everything. We used to watch, um, my mom would, uh, she was my babysitter for the weekend, for the, I'm sorry, for the summer. So for three months, I would spend every single day with my great grandmother, Fanny. And, um, so we would watch the, what do you call it, Young and the Restless and, 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 and All My Children and General Hospital so and Luke and Laura back when Luke had a fro. Like, it was like, she was my everything. I used to braid her hair and put grease in it and put it in the fours and braid her hair and it looked crazy, but she would always say it was beautiful. She was really like my everything. So if she could see what my life is now and if she could see that Barack Obama is the president of the United States. <laughs> sad because it would be just a dinner and then she would have to go back to heaven so that would be really sad but the dinner would be beautiful with her there. maybe I would have it in front of everybody and everybody could watch me and great grandmama Fanny yeah we would take Wait it for the Tyra show yeah <laughs> thank you very cool thank you hi Tyra hi um, what's your name my name is Jenny Jenny hi Jenny hi um, I'm sure you work in a female dominated industry and you come across all types of personalities and how do you manage um, those that are so um, with inflated egos and just oh people that have inflated egos yeah and like has it ever have you ever come across like somebody who's like ego tripping and like it just makes you want to just like sucker punch them back into reality oh like, yeah just... totally <laughs> you, you know when that? people have really big egos they're just really insecure mm -hmm. so I just try to make them feel really really good and I just say positive things to them and I rub their back and I tell them how great they are because I know they feel like crap and that's why they treat everybody like crap so I just kill them with kindness <laughs> and that usually works and then sometimes she's still a bitch at the end of the day and I don't you know there's nothing I can really do about it but I just try to kill them with kind kindness to show them you are worthy you are good you don't have to be angry you know that's what I do thank you Awesome. Hi, Tyra. This is so fun. I'm so comfortable. Feet off. I just got a pedicure this weekend. Oh, my God, my foot's ashy. <laughs> but, oh, my God, Scott, you have to get a close-up of my foot right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, there's some ash. Like, you see the ash? Oh, my God, it looks so bad. Look at that. I need some spit on it. I think I'm so set. <laughs> really bad that is bad white people are so lucky you guys you can't see the ash black folks you can see the ash okay or even Latinas if you have a little you know morena in you you can see the ash okay I know you guys are like gross because I touched it and I licked and then I, t I double dipped on my foot <laughs> I'm sorry what's your question my name is Diana and um, my question is a lot of us girls like to shop and I was just wondering being that you're so rich and you have so much money do you ever consider uh, using coupons or buying stuff that's on sale or... hell yeah girl <laughs> heck yeah you guys know when you go to the yogurt place or something and they give you that the thing that the card that has the ten squares and every time you go they punch it like I get mine punched <laughs> and like if I buy two yogurts if there's a friend and they try to punch it once I'm like I, I, I bought two yogurts. I know I'm one person, but I bought two yogurts. You better punch it twice because I want that 10th one. I'm sorry, the 11th one free when I get 10. And I do that. Also, I have a Cheesecake Factory, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, a card, like a little gift certificate. Honey, uh-uh. Uh, yeah, I'm very fortunate, and, 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 and at the end of the year, I do make a nice salary. But it, to me, it doesn't matter. It's all about value. So, like, if I can get something that is true value, whether it's a coupon, whether it's buy one, get one free, I'm always looking for that. Always, always. Thank you. You're welcome. All righty. Who else? By the way, that's Danny passing the mic. He doesn't mean Janet Jackson or Beyonce. Any <laughs> dance move, Danny does every single move. Come on, Danny. Give us a little. Give us a little. Oh, you're singing late. 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 There you go. Work it out. 
He's our audience producer. Okay, what's your question? Hey, Tyra. Um, Hi. What's your okay. name? Janelli. Hi, Janelli. All right, you go to a lot of fabulous places because you're fabulous or used to be a fabulous model, but you're still fabulous. I'm not fabulous no more. No, you still are. You still are. And um, so, since you travel so much, what is your favorite country? My to favorite country? To? Yeah. Santa Fe, New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not a country, but I, I love America. Like, I know it's, I, I've lived in Paris. I do. Yeah. I have always loved this country. And, like, even when I lived in Paris, I like the French, beautiful. Paris is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But I would be depressed because it went to, like, decent. I wanted, I did not want to, I wanted to be, like, I wanted a burger. I wanted, like, hey, girl. <laughs> and um, so one of my favorite places on this earth is Santa Fe, New Mexico. Everything <laughs> is the, a brown color, the ground, the buildings, even a lot of the people. The food <laughs> is slamming. It's like this spicy kind of food. The best massages in the world. I skeet shot. In Santa Fe, New Mexico, like pow, pow, pow. I um, mountain biked. I just did everything. I love that that city so so much, and I love America. And I'm not saying this because Barack Obama is president, and I'm proud. You know, even more proud as an American. I have always been more connected to here than anywhere else. We'll be right back.